I'm now going to talk about the digastricus muscle, which can be found here. The name for this muscle comes from the Latin digastricus, meaning having two bellies, referring to the muscle. The origin of the anterior belly is the digastric fossa on the inner side of the lower border of the mandible, near the symphysis. The origin of the posterior belly is the mastoid notch of the temporal bone. Its insertion is the body of the hyoid bone via a fasciae sling over an intermediate tendon. Digastricus has two muscle bellies that function to open the mouth. Each of the two muscle bellies have their own referred pain pattern. The posterior, back belly, refers into the upper aspect of the SCM muscle and, not quite as often, to the front of the throat and under the chin. The anterior belly refers pain to the lower four incisor teeth and the alveolar ridge below the teeth. A person with trigger points in the posterior belly of the digastricus will most likely complain less of pain and more so of difficulty swallowing, along with the sensation of a lump in the throat that will not go down. The anterior belly of the digastric causes pain that may be perplexing to clinicians and dental professionals because the pain is referred to the lower four incisor teeth. In this case, if only the teeth are considered to be the pain generator, okay. overlooked myofascial trigger points may go unrecognized and the patient's pain complaint unresolved. Other general symptoms include throat pain, headache, renal tubular acidosis and vocal or singing problems. So what causes the pain? Trigger points in the digastric may be secondary to surrounding muscles. The masseter has been specifically identified to induce this condition. Mouth breathing may perpetuate on the basis that mouth breathers retract the jaw to take in breath. Bruxism, teeth grinding, whiplash injuries, telephone to the chin, and musical instruments such as the violin or wind instruments. General advice would be the following. A person should be instructed to take steps to re stop retrusive bruxism, teeth grinding, and restore breathing through the nose instead of the mouth. Patient exercises may be done, including applying pressure under the jaw and behind the ear, but the patient must be shown exactly how to do this.